Has anyone ever told you there are certain places you can keep your money that significantly increase your wealth and attract more abundance into your life? And there's also certain places in your home you do not want to store your money that can actually keep you stuck financially. Now, I admit when I first heard this concept, money is energy, I thought it was like silly magic for people who didn't want to work hard. And I didn't know that since money is energy, you can leverage the energy of where you keep your money and even where you store your money within your home to enhance your financial success. So I used to just put money wherever I felt like it, right? I was broke, I didn't have much money, so what's the point in putting money in a special place? I'll do it when I have more, right? So I leave a few bucks in my pocket, it goes through the washing machine. Sometimes I'd stuff it in a cup holder in my car until I spilled the coffee on it and then I have to throw it away because it's all gross. Sometimes I'd find old crumpled cash in a seat or I'd leave it on the bathroom counter until I spilled toothpaste on it and then it got all yucky. And the truth is, I didn't have much money. So I didn't respect money. I actually kind of resented money. It was like a friend who betrayed me and abandoned me and I hated it and I despised it simply because I didn't have enough of it. Now today, I have more money than I can spend. I live in my dream house. I drive my dream sports car that costs more than I used to make in a single year. I employ my friends. My wife hasn't had to work since she was 25 years old. I'm set up trust fund for my three-year-old kids. Life's totally different. Every day I'm like, damn, thank you God. So what changed? I began to understand that money is energy. And like all energy, it responds to the way that you treat it. I learned that when you change your energy towards money, money becomes attracted to you. Just like a romantic relationship. If you treat someone poorly and without respect, they will leave you, right? And when you treat them well, they're going to want to be around. Money works the same way. It doesn't matter how hard you work. It doesn't matter what business secrets you know or how much money you spend on special coaches and financial gurus. If you don't change your energy towards money, it won't expand. And one of the quickest ways to change the energy of money in your life is by understanding where you keep and store your money, especially in your home, has an impact. So I'm going to go through six specific areas where you can keep money, no matter how much or how little you have, that will act as natural wealth magnets and shift your subconscious. So if you watch this video all the way through and follow these easy, simple steps, money's going to start to show up in unexpected ways. Refunds you forgot about, a surprise bonus at work, a new sale, a new client that you randomly meet in the grocery store when you drop the beans and they pick it up for you, an old business that you gave up on suddenly going to spike. It's going to feel like you jumped on a hidden wave of financial energy. So let's break down these six wealth generating zones. Number one is a money corner. So this is similar to a prayer corner or a meditation corner of your house. So this is your financial abundance corner. You can take some cash and you can put it in a beautiful glass bowl or you can put it under some candle holders. You can add some cards where you write some prosperity affirmations. You can put your vision board next to it with pictures of your goals. And what you want to do is spend a few minutes there thanking money for showing up in your life. Don't ask for money. Don't pray for money. Don't think about your bills. Don't worry. Just imagine the money is already there in big ways and practice thanking the energy of money for manifesting in abundant ways, right? Thank you, money, for coming into my life. I'm sorry I resented you and I wasted all this time pushing you away. Thank you for showing up in my life. I'm now making X, Y, Z. Thank you, money, that I have my dream house. Just a couple minutes a day where you consciously out loud practice thanking money in your money corner. Number two is your daily income total. And this isn't going to be in a specific part of your house all day long necessarily, but it's the first technique that I tried over 10 years ago. And it helped me overcome my fears of being broke. So originally a mentor of mine, he told me to decide how much money do you want to make every single day? And then get that out of the bank in cash and keep it in my wallet. And I was like, well, what if I lose it? And he told me that if you're afraid to lose, you're a loser. No, he didn't say that. 
He said, if you are afraid of losing one day worth of 365 days of money, you're already in so much fear you're never going to make it. He said, you have to train your subconscious mind for that amount of money to be normal and natural. And if you don't do this exercise because you're afraid of losing it, he said, that's telling yourself it's too much money and then it's going to be impossible for you to earn it. So as a result, you get stuck at your current level. Now, I got to mention, I had another problem. I always lost my wallets and my keys and like everything else, like sometimes even my pants. And I would lose my wallet all the time, so much so that I just would buy those cheap wallets because I would lose them all the time. So putting even $50 in a wallet was a dumb idea to me at the time because I would just lose it, right? And I realized that was a big fear of mine, right? So I started doing this exercise. I put the money in, I never spent it. And the cool thing about it is that I stopped losing my wallets. And I had the same one for like six or seven years until recently I bought this new one, red leather, and I like the way it looks. And I can't encourage you to do this exercise because I don't want you to buy it and you lose a few dollars. But you can buy a secondary wallet and you can use it as your house wallet for imaginary money spending. And you can put your daily financial goals into this wallet, put it in your money corner or whatever so you don't lose it. And guess what? Every time I'm opening this wallet and I saw, all right, there's a thousand bucks in here. Holy cow. Like that's more than I make in a month. I would just see it all the time. So every time I'm buying something when I'm broke, I'm no longer thinking, damn, the coffee used to be $3 at seven now. I'm thinking, I am rich. If you could see how much money I have, you would want to date me too. Look at me. I always win. Like that's how my mind was. And that's what happens because it becomes a new normal. Okay. And now that you're floating in the cashy butter, number three is your bathroom mirror. So mirrors are natural wealth attractors. There's tons of university psychology studies on how speaking to yourself in the mirror can improve depression and self-esteem. And when you look into a mirror, you can look directly into your own eyes and say, yeah, baby. And guess what? You can affirm your financial success. It's like that same thing when we really want someone to look us in our eyes and tell us everything's gonna be okay. Well, you can have a heart to heart conversation with yourself and with your money every day. So you can tape a single hundred dollar bill or some money onto a mirror and you can get out some uh, uh, affirmations and stuff in your vision board and put it on the mirror, write those, put them on your wall in your favorite color. And what you do is you put in a mirror you're gonna go to a lot. You go over to the mirror, you look yourself in the eye and you talk about your financial success. And I know that that may sound weird or uncomfortable, but did you know even Albert Einstein did this? he was known for talking to himself. He used to repeat important sentences to himself softly because he believed that it helped him clarify new ideas and beliefs. So just like Einstein, you can look at yourself in the mirror, you can repeat your financial success, you can see the money in the mirror and you can say to yourself, it feels good to be rich. Money is coming to me in big new ways. So you put it there and every time you go by, right when you wake up in the morning, you just affirm it. You look right in your eyes and you say, I am grateful to be rich. I'm getting rich out loud with energy. Look at the money you taped up. And this is a powerful technique. Psychologists have long proven that self-talk in the mirror is extremely powerful. Now, number four is the kitchen, living room, or bedroom. So this one is up to you which location that you pick based on where you like to spend a lot of your time. So what you want to do is you want to take something that really symbolizes wealth or slowly work your way to buying something meaningful. So you may have a nice expensive crystal or an antique or pure gold jewelry that your grandma gave you. It doesn't matter what it is. What matters is how you feel about it and what emotions it sparks when you look at it so you can tap into this energy. So you want a real symbol of wealth and prosperity. In my friend's house, they have two massive purple crystals right when you walk into the living room. And when I say that they're massive, I mean they're literally four or five feet freestanding crystals off the ground. I never asked how much money it costs, but I guarantee you it's at least a few thousand dollars. So right when you walk into the living room, immediately it sets the vibe in a cool way, but also in a rich way. You're like, damn, those things are expensive. You spent like the same amount of money as my car on crystals, right? So it doesn't matter what it is. The price doesn't matter. It could even be a picture that you put in a nice frame that reminds you of 
all the prosperity and success coming to you, all you got to do is a nice frame and you can print it out if you're on a budget, right? Or you don't have anything around your house. And this is going to start to train your unconscious mind to dwell in an energy of luxury and abundance somewhere you can see it. Now, before I move on to number five, I just want to say thanks for watching today's video. If you're new here, make sure you've hit the subscribe and bell notification. If you're new or a returner and you're enjoying this video, it helps us out if you hit the like button right over there. Let us know to make more videos like this. And if you're enjoying it, I have a free success hypnosis. Don't get it yet because number five and number six are super important, but it's pinned to the comments and in the description right there down below. It's jakeshypnosis.com. This is a success hypnosis. When I learned all this stuff, I didn't just say like, well, yeah, this is cool. I was like, well, I should start listening to success hypnosis every single day and see what happens. And I went from making $1,500 a month to becoming a millionaire in my late 20s. Everything changed in my life. A million people from all the world have used it. Just normal people like you and I that haven't had that breakthrough. You're working hard. You're doing all the right things. And you're open-minded. And you think, well, I don't know. I mean, maybe if you change your mind, you can change your money. And every day I get these awesome stories. People that get a huge jump in income, a new job. They get a bonus. All these things happen. And it's right there down below. It's jakeshypnosis.com. Now, number five is jewelry boxes. So nice jewelry boxes just look expensive, right? Maybe you have an old jewelry box from a nice piece that you own, or maybe you inherited one that's still in one of those really rich looking boxes. And since they're designed to store precious items, they radiate an energy of richness. They radiate an energy of value. So placing your money in this type of a jewelry box is, is actually encoding it with this prosperous energy. It's like your cash is absorbing wealth enhancing vibrations from the metals and the gems in these boxes. It's getting imprinted with this prosperous energy and it helps you remember, yeah, my mind dwells in financial abundance. And it's one of the easiest ways to make that mindset shift. Now, number six is an elevated place in your closet or a special room in your home. And the reason I say closet is because we walk in and out of it a lot, right? Quite a few times during the day, but it could be an elevated spot in your hallway. It could be in your kitchen, your living room, your office. So places of height in your home, they carry an energy of ascension, an energy of inspiration, elevation. And when you look at it, it's like you're peering up into your future. So it's reminding you that you're on an upwards trajectory. So placing your money in these high spots like bookcases or shelves, they're aligning with an elevated prosperous energy, enhancing your ability to attract more wealth through subconscious associations that you're creating. You're creating a subconscious association with an inset, with a ascension of money. So what else? If it's in a highly trafficked area, it has high circulation of energy. So every time someone walks by or you walk by, you can imagine that you're charging that energy. You're charging that money with more circular up moving energy. The higher and higher it goes, the more and more success. So as you get started on shifting the energetic relationship with money, it's okay to start small. So maybe you just pick one of these six ideas and get started today. You can try lower denomination bills. Never create fear for yourself. Always check in with how you feel. As you do it, you're cleansing and upgrading your life force energy. So you can set some intentions. You can remind yourself of all the good things coming. You can say, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the money that I've made so far. Even though my mind wants to complain and love enough, just say thank you for all the money you have, even if it's not much, right? These are the six wealth creation zones. So pick one or two, give it a try, share your story in the comments. I'd love to hear about it and where in the world you're coming from. So give me a comment down below. Let me know where in the world you're coming from and where in the world you're going to begin to start a new wealth magnetic energy. If you enjoy this video, hit the like button on it. Check out my free success hypnosis right there down below and click right here to watch my three 